Welcome. You are tuned into another episode of Municipal Focus. As you know, this particular show is used to provide information uh, and share details about things that are going on when it comes to your local government, whether it's town government, county government, or even state government. Joining us today is Hanson Town Administrator Lisa Green, and we're here to talk about a, uh, a annual event, the annual special and town meeting. I think I said that right. Yes. Where there's two two warrant articles, there's two warrants with a set of articles, uh, and uh, so we're here to kind of talk about that. Lisa, how are you today? Good morning, Kevin. I'm doing well. Thank you so much for having me. It's a it's a pleasure uh, to be talking with you about our town meeting today. Well, let's let's talk a little bit. What was what was preparation like? You know, it, it usually starts earlier in the year and there's mm -hmm. a series of meetings with department heads and, you know, putting putting the budget together and getting an idea as to what you're going to ask uh, for the fiscal year that starts July 1st. Yes. Well, it, it's uh, it's a team effort. Um, it involves all departments, all municipal departments with the town. Um, we begin the process by asking departments to put together a budget and submit it to the to our office. Um, which we then share with town accountant, who is who is very instrumental in helping us put the budget together. Um, and then we also ask departments to forward their capital plans to us, and um, the, which capital items that they're hoping to um, get funding for through town meeting um, to move forward with, with either um, equipment or. Um, improvements to their buildings and things like that. Um, so that, that process starts back in November. Um, we also, we begin collecting our, um, from our different com uh, committees and boards and commissions and departments, uh, your year end reports for our annual town report. So we begin collecting those and, and uh, compiling them for uh, the printers for our annual town report that we wanna have ready for town meeting that we can give to residents. Um, and we start putting articles together. We again ask departments to submit their um, articles for the for the warrants, and um, we we begin to compile that. So it's a process that takes many many months. Um, and of course, over the over those months, there's many changes um, that occur. Um, you know, our budget as we went into the fiscal 23 budget preparation, um, we. We're, we're starting with a shortfall with a deficit of um, close to a million dollars. Um, the schools are always um, a budget that we watch very closely for. Um, they nor the, the school will present an initial draft budget um, at, at one of their, the school committee, I should say, um, at one of their February meetings. And then the town, the Whitman and Hanson can then uh, put their budgets together based on that preliminary budget um, presentation. If I could ask, you know, COVID has been very a very big part of our lives over the past couple of years. Mm -hmm. How has that added wrinkles or made the uh, process difficult or maybe easier? Maybe there's you can project that maybe it, it COVID is not going to be, you know, the, you know, depending on the different strains, we're learning that the more that it mutates, that it may not be as it was initially when we were dealing with, with it back in early 2020. Right. And, and the medical science on it has come a long way through vaccinations and um, those new developments. But yeah, COVID presented a lot of challenges. So, I mean, um, the last prior town meetings were had out, outside at the high school um, in the summertime. Um, and I think we all remember those July 90 degree plus days with the humidity. Um, but uh, interestingly, we had both, I believe Whitman and Hanson had uh, some of the highest attendance uh, when we held, held those meetings outside. Um, people appeared to be very comfortable. Well, they brought their chairs, blankets, umbrellas, coolers. So, um, you know, it was, it was a very different, different atmosphere, but it looked like people um, really took to the different in, in um, venue, so to speak. Uh, this year, town meeting seems to be um, back to normal. We're moving it back to the Hanson Middle School where they've had it, 
in the past um, in the auditorium. Um, masks have not been a big conversation. Of course, people can choose to wear masks, um, but I, I don't believe there's going to be any mandates out there for masking. Um, but people are certainly able to choose what is best for, the, for, for them and their families. Um, but it, it, it feels good to have things back to normal. Um, you know, having town meetings outside, again, presented as challenges. Um, you know, the weather is always a big challenge. Um, then we need the equipment, you need the chairs, you need to set up all of the areas that are very far away from each other rather than closely impacted. Um, but we got through it. We get through it. And here we are, like, again, almost back to normal with um, how it, it was prior to the COVID days. One of the residuals for COVID, I mean, we had the CARES Act prior to it, the prior administration, and now we have the American Rescue Plan Act mm -hmm. uh, through uh, President Biden. Does that play a role in your fiscal 2023 budget and planning? Um, it, very, it's, it plays a small role for right now because there's still so many directives and guidances that are coming out as far as um, expenditures and what we can and cannot spend the money on. So it, it may play a small role in some of the items that we have. Um, we have yet to submit an application through Plymouth County for approval for ARPA funds. Again, there's still so many um changes that are coming out and people are still trying to figure exactly how it's all going to work. So it may have more of a impact in, in FY24 um, if, as far as larger projects. Okay. The uh, You talked a little bit about the funding challenges and, and having a deficit. Um, what was different? Was there anything different this year compared to the prior year as far as trying to fund the budget having the revenue to be able to provide town services? Yes, most definitely. Well, I mean, as every pe as people know, COVID has um, brought about some supply and demand type of um, challenges. Uh, supply shortages um, definitely impacted new growth uh, with new building and things like that. So we found our new growth was, was very low. Um, and that is a lot of what we base part of our budget on. Um, and that's what created the difficulties and the challenges with our budget shortfall. Um, you know, local revenues, things like that. And it, it just impacted across the board with local receipts, um, car sales, um, you know, um, retail sales, and again, new growth, new building, um, was all impacted negatively. Um, and that's part of what the American Rescue um, Plan Act has is um, uh, providing some type of, of funding for towns for negative economic uh, impacts of COVID. And that will be a focus of, of where we can use that money for economic development um, in that area for the town. You touched upon it briefly uh, in our first uh, question, and that is uh, about the uh, um, the annual assessment that is received by each community in the school district shared with Whitman. Um, what was the assessment process like this year? Uh, well, the school committee, um, they review the budget that the, that is presented to them um, and they vote on the, the budget and then the assessment for the two towns. Um, the official assessment was sent to us March 16th. Um, and, you know, both towns had to look at that and then readjust budgets to accommodate the assessment figures, um, which both towns were going to struggle with um, based on their revenue and things like that. Um, and then we were fortunate that there were, there were conversations um, on non-mandated busing in a, in a uh, new formula for that type of, that particular Part, part of the assessment, um, which did save the town some money, um, both towns some money, and the school committee was able to vote to lower uh, the assessment to the two towns based on that new formula, um, which we did receive the voted assessments from the schools on April 16th. 
Now, my understanding was is that there was a little bit of a Whitman Hansen Selectman budget partnership, like a mm-hmm. meeting. How did that go? Well, um, you know, it, it was. Um, geez, that's a tough question. <laughs> I think there there, there were, um, you know, it was understanding that there's a, a there's definitely a. Um, observation that communication could definitely be improved mm. between the school committee and the two towns. Um, it, it just seemed that there was a breakdown in communication um, and in the process in general. Um, you know, we have a, there, there's a new chairman to the school committee after um, Bob Hayes retired after many years of, of serving as chairman. Um, and with new leadership comes in new, always new ideas and new thoughts of how the process can be improved. Um, you know, hopefully that that meeting will help us next as we prepare for the next budget season on, on how communication and how working together can, can really help us make the budget process easier. Let's take a quick look at the Hanson, whether it's the special uh, town meeting warrant or the annual. Uh, what do you feel some of the key articles on this year's warrants uh well i mean some of the key are the key articles would be the um <clears throat> proposed amendments to the marijuana marijuana bylaws um which as we know marijuana any type of mar- retail marijuana sales whether it be medical or recreational is, is prohibited in the town of hansen um <clears throat> and i think there is a, a, a maybe a, a change in mindset and a thought to revisit that as we see the revenues that marijuana is bringing um, to the state and the you know the benefits that it's bringing to towns that have um, welcomed marijuana establishments into the towns there, there's extremely high revenue uh, that that can be gained to that which the towns desperately need to fund their operating and services budgets so that though there's Basically, there's four articles for consideration for amending the uh, marijuana bylaws and basically how they are situated is the first article is meant to mean to mainly clean up the language for the the bylaw um, and then the, the subsequent three articles after that focus on uh, marijuana retail sales within the town um, with that actually it combines with delivery services and then um, allowing the Hawks Ave property to be included in possibly entertaining um, any marijuana type of um, commercial or industrial um, services or, or growth in that area. Is there a, is this something that will, if this passes, that could really help future budgets down the road and really help improve things when it comes to municipal services? Absolutely, no doubt in no doubt in anybody's mind on that. If if people look at the statistics of marijuana sales um, in Massachusetts and the revenue that is generated, I mean, in, in sixty to eight million dollars um, over the past couple of years, um, and they they basically they're saying that marijuana surpassed alcohol um, during COVID as far as um, generating revenue. Um, that that's a large chunk of change. That that that's a big chunk, and um, it, you know, people that are purchasing or, or you know that they are going to these marijuana establishments, they're going to other towns, and other towns are benefiting from that revenue. Um, Hanson is not benefiting at all from that revenue. Um, so, you know, it, it's definitely worth a revisiting uh, because now that we've seen over the years that marijuana retail and medical has not brought about all the negative concerns that people had. Um, it, it's kind of gone in a different direction. Um, so those are four very important bylaws. And it's also worth noting that it is, it is stringently controlled by a, a state board that oversees it and has put, you know, rules and regulations in place that have been, have worked. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, one other uh, article that's, that's very important is um, the adoption. We are uh, back at the October special town meeting. We introduced an article to adopt the local 
meals sales tax, uh, which basically adds 0.75% um, onto a, um, a, a restaurant bill or a bar tab bill or fast food. Um, all of our neighboring towns have adopted that local sales and they are all seeing revenues from that. Um, the, at this October special town meeting, it was voted to table that. Um, so we are reintroducing it. And again, this is an area of revenue that Hanson has not tapped into that is really crucial to um, gaining revenue. And again, any people from outside of Hanson who come to our eating establishments within Hanson, um, they, they, they generate revenue. Um, they contribute. Just as when Hanson folks go to restaurants outside Hanson to other towns, they generate to that town's revenue. Um, so again, crucial revenue for the town. Any friendly reminders you want to share with the viewers about the uh, town meeting this year and, and, and attending? Um, just, it's at 7.30 at the Hanson Middle School on, on uh, 111 Liberty Street or Yes, 111 Liberty Street. Uh, the YMCA will be providing childcare. Um, that is at no cost. And um, we will have everything ready for people. Um, and just, you know, please come on out. This is how the towns um, operate our business. Um, and the more people come out to, to support the articles, um, we need everybody we can to come out. Thank you so much for joining us to chat, at least provide a little bit of a preview of town meeting. Uh, I understand that you have a, a busy schedule and it's it's very much appreciated that we could share this information with the Absolutely. folks who, who may not be up to speed with what's going on with municipal government and how, mm -hmm. how the town pays its bills. Yeah. And my office is always open. People can call. I'm, I'm happy to talk with anybody with any questions, or if I don't have the answers, I can direct them to the people that will have the answers for them. Well, we want to thank you, and we want to thank our viewers. Thank you so much for tuning into a program like Municipal Focus. Until our next conversation, have a great day.